if I didn't get enough of the Allegheny National Forest last year, I am back up here uh, for the first uh, first hammocking trip of the year. And uh, today doing the uh, Morrison Trail. Actually, we're, it's a relatively short uh, kind of a lollipop loop. Um, but we're just I'm out here with Doug Kay and we're going to uh, just uh, have a nice easy um, it's not very long, but we're going to make it uh, three days, two nights. Uh, and uh, we're probably going to check out and Rimrock Overlook on the third day. But uh, we're getting a late start. We got here just after 6 p.m., so we got two hours of daylight. We're just going to do a short hike in, find a campsite, um, and get set up from there. There are a, a pit toilet over there, which is nice. Uh, let's see what this has to say. This is a Morrison ski trail over here. Blue blazes. We're going to be following uh, the silver diamonds. Well, here is the, the big map. We are right here. We're coming down. And we're going to look for a camp somewhere along this creek pretty pretty soon. Uh, and then we'll come down. Come out of frame. We'll come down here. We'll come around. I guess we're going to try to find a camp somewhere over here by Campbell Run tomorrow. And then eventually work our way over to uh, Rimrock Overlook right there. I don't know if there's a connector trail or not. But, uh, we'll figure that out as we go. A little Christmas tree forest. Definitely looking forward to camping in some uh, hemlocks down by the big creek very shortly. So quick note, just as soon as you come out onto this access road here, the uh, trail will come onto the road. Just keep an eye out because it goes right back into the woods over here. And uh, this could be easy to miss with these mountain laurels, kind of blocking the, the diamond. Right, Doug said we're about to start heading down into the valley as soon as we come around this bend here. And the update on the weather, right now it's perfect. It's uh, mid 70s right now, nice and sunny. Uh, tonight, the low is supposed to be about 58. Tomorrow night, right around the same thing. Uh, unfortunately, tomorrow, around one, two o'clock, thunderstorms are supposed to come in. And uh, it's pretty much supposed to rain continuously after that for the rest of the trip, which sucks, but. Oh, well. right, it looks like this might be the section heading down into the valley. Uh, these trees up here, this far north, have not uh, started blooming anywhere near as much as what it's like down in Pittsburgh right now. But uh, yeah, we're, we should be definitely camping in some pines down by the main creek. So that'll be nice. I don't know if this is the, the bigger creek, but uh, Seems like it should be. Um, it's not a very big creek, but uh, nice, nice pine. Hopefully, we find something that looks pretty much like this. I believe Doug said that this is uh, Morrison Run. There were some guys just camped back about five minutes ago. They had a nice little spot on an island. They said there was another one, another good spot up here. About five more minutes, but uh, but Doug knows. Uh, Doug's been on this trail before, so uh, he's. I think he's got something in mind. Beautiful little waterfall. Just uh, had to come down this steep climb from the main trail to get down here. Very nice. There are a few of these muddy sections like this that we've been coming across down in this valley, but so far we've been able to get around the mud. arriving at a campsite anytime now and I got a song of the day which I heard on the radio yesterday is uh, uh, Lord Royals song of the day for a short day one this is beautiful we 
that for about an hour before it's going to be completely dark, probably even less than that down in these pines in this valley. So we got to find something soon or else we'll be sitting up in the dark. And I got to get a fire going because my dinner tonight requires cooking on the coals. All right, there's a nice little potential site right here in these pines. Um, we are at three and a half miles and we came up to this uh, intersection. We're gonna be headed that way, but this way here is a shortcut back to the car. This kind of cuts through the middle of the main loop. Uh, this is the uh, Rimrock loop, I guess, or Morrison loop, I don't know. But uh, Doug just walked up there to see if there's any sites up there. I'm kind of liking this one right over here though. I just now noticed this is the intersection of these two two creeks. Pretty nice. All right, we are just under four miles on the day, and we're going to do this site right here. The main trail is over there on that side. We got this uh, fire pit. I'm going to go right here between these two trees. Got the fire going pretty decent. Uh, here's my setup. I forgot my pillow. So, uh, I think I got enough clothes in the clothes bag I can use. So cool. There's a drug set up over here with the party lights. And, uh, got the drinks in the uh, creek. Chilling. About to go get those. Cat hole is dug for tomorrow. Nice. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I just got to get some hot coals so I can get my dinner going. And I just got my my food out of the fire is finally done. This is a hobo meal. Let's see if I can get it in the light here. I got, uh, I've done this one before. This is um, ground beef, potatoes, mushrooms, green onions. I'm about to melt this, uh, what is this, uh, habanero cheese on top of it. I need, to, I should probably do this before it gets too cold. So I'm going to melt this on top of it, and that is dinner for tonight, and that'll um, take a whole lot of weight out of my pack for tomorrow. Okay, that's uh, that's tonight's dinner. It's 11 o'clock, <laughs> and uh, just getting to dinner right now. That is my, my hobo meal ready to go. All right, it's just after 8 o'clock. Just getting, getting up, and uh, I'm about to start tearing a few things down anyways. Get some breakfast going. Beautiful morning. Uh, Doug made a good call on the campsite. Food lines coming up right over there. And, uh, yeah, slept good last night. So, yeah, I think the rain's supposed to start around 9 o'clock, so uh, we'll discuss the plans as we get. I didn't notice this last night because of how late we got here, but uh, right off the campsite here, it's a great little uh, swimming slash uh, bathing hole right here, and it's, it's pretty deep. experiment was a failure I got uh, I wanted to put some uh, non-hot uh, handles on this pot so after a little research I found that you get uh, airline tubing I think it's called for fish tanks uh, and you slide it on to the handle well, I couldn't get the handles off so I had to slice the tubing put it on there but then it wouldn't stay so I got some silicone tape and taped it on but it still got hot so I guess I'm gonna have to use it for the time. There's a little, uh, little bandana here. All right, so we were just sitting here having coffee, and and all of a sudden we hear this noise up in the tree. This branch fell down, and it's literally like right where I'd have been sleeping. <laughs> it's not a big branch, but it, and that's pretty decent size. It's like a three quarters of an inch branch. Just it would have just fell right on top of me. <laughs> 
10 o'clock and we are off. So we found there was a, an old tarp laying up there right by our campsite. Um, we just washed it off in the creek. Doug's carrying it. We're going to use it as a kind of community shelter, hopefully. If it doesn't get too heavy and he just leaves it somewhere. But because uh, it's like about six pounds, six sixths a pound right now. The sun was up earlier, and now it's, it's getting cloudy already. I think uh, the chance of storms last I saw yesterday was coming in at 1 o'clock. We'll see what happens. This great deer just went running down through there. I think it might be people camp, but right down where those deer's crossing the creek. We got this uh, little beaver dam here. Um, we've been looking for blazes. We can't find blazes. It's been a few minutes since we've seen one. We are uh, pretty much off the trail, uh, off the main trail, silver blazes. There was a, it's pretty obvious that there was a reroute and we missed a turn somewhere. We think we, we might be on the old trail, but as long as we stay near this creek, the big creek, uh, this will just we'll follow this all the way down to until we hit the reservoir and uh that's where the uh, campground is at and we'll be able to get back on the silver blazes from there which uh, that shouldn't be too far away all right well the, we did find the reservoir and we found this really sweet campsite over here look at this that's there's like a boat in uh campsite over there so obviously pretty easy to get all these supplies in here. Look at this. This is nice. Now somebody's been having a good time with the Jim Beam over here. Jack Daniels, Dob Creek. They got a frying pan in here. Looks like <laughs> some old uh, baked potatoes ready to go. <laughs> got a grill in there. Good Lord. Dry firewood over here. Nice sight. Plenty of hammock trees over there. This is nice. And I didn't notice, I'm not sure what this is all about. And this is where uh, Morrison Run empties into Allegheny Reservoir. Just trying to find a dry way through this mud. It's nice weather now. That might be the uh, there's a picnic table out there. I'm not sure if that's the pay site or yeah. I think it's a pay site. I'm not sure. So this is a fee area. Uh, pay ten bucks if they. I guess there's a self-pay uh, collection box somewhere. Fire ring, picnic tables, no, no, real fire ring over here. these toilets here for the uh, for these for the pay campsites and we are in bear country do not feed the bears <laughs> okay avoid confrontation with the bears at all costs really there is a water pump here and we're gonna head up. No. We're, we're gonna head up. It's disconnected. Uh, disconnected. Yeah, we're heading up through here. All right, so we're gonna head up and try to get back onto the main trail. There's the sign. Uh, and we are back onto the Silver Blazes, just as we planned. So we're climbing up away from the uh, reservoir. Since we got back on the Silver Blazes, it was uh, mostly hardwood forest uh, coming up away from the uh, reservoir. Now we're on this, uh, I guess, an old road of some kind. Uh, back into some few pines, anyways. And the Silver Blazes continue out that way. We're gonna follow this old trail because it seems to be correctly lining up with my diet. 
and maybe see if we can find some, some kind of campsite or something because it's starting to get a little dark right now. Okay, so uh, yeah, as we started down this trail, the, uh, there was this, that sign up there said the trail went to the right, but uh, there's still silver blazes down here in the old blue blazes. But it's, it looked like there were somebody just closed the trail with some logs. There's some kind of a chainsawing going on over on the other side of the reservoir. And uh, just a few minutes ago, we heard what sounded like a, a sequoia tree or something coming down. It was the loudest tree fall I've ever heard. All right, we scoped around all through this valley. We think this is like Carruthers Run or something begins with a C. So we have a reliable, uh, pretty reliable water source right here. Uh, the sky's getting a little bit darker. So uh, we do have a fire pit. And uh, I'm gonna go right here. These trees, Doug's gonna go right there. And we're gonna hang that hammock or that tarp between those two big hemlocks and uh, make an A-frame shelter out of it to hang out in. Look at the build fire over there. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. In fact, I'm gonna drop a, uh, a screenshot of the guy at the GPS showing like where we're where we're at right now, uh, camp-wise. This is maybe the earliest I've ever camped. One, <laughs> it's like 1:30, a little after 1:30 right now. Um, but we definitely, I mean, we wanted to beat the, uh, be set up before the rain got here. Um, and we're just taking it easy. I mean, this is a relatively short loop. You could easily day hike this whole loop. But, uh, yeah, I think we did four, four and a half miles today, something like that. Uh, we've got a reliable water source down there. Uh, this was the fire pit, but we scavenged some of the rocks and show you what we did with those. Here's my setup. Porch mode ready to go. It's Doug. And we took that tarp. We used Doug's bear line to string across here and uh, A frame this piece of work. <laughs> Look yeah. at this. <laughs> it's bushcraft now. That's it. We're big time. Big time. So we're going to have a little fire going underneath there. That's what we yeah, get all those rocks up. from. Uh, and I believe all my camp tours are already done. So it's just chill time now. Yeah, I got the song of the day. I got another ACDC one today. Uh, I got, let's get it up. Some of these little, little waterfalls coming down through this stream. Uh, you can see my drinks chilling down there. Uh, we're headed up to check out what is either a little cave or it could just be white rocks. We'll find out when we get up there. Well, the white part was rocks, but there is a little cave there. Let's see if I can get closer here. So this is a really open hillside here uh, in these little caves. I'm thinking these would be excellent spots for snakes to be living. Come and sit out on these rocks and then climb back under here. This is a nice campsite, stealth site. I don't even know where the, the main trail is, probably somewhere over there, but this is nice. You got this bench to sit on here. Good tent, tent area. I'm sure I can make hammocks work right here too. Getting into some interesting stuff here. And here's the little waterfall that I was hearing. Valley. Now we're getting a few raindrops. Um, we were hearing some thunder over to the north. It sounded like it was a little bit further away for, for now anyways, but the uh, wind's picking up. All right, definitely getting a lot darker over there. That is northwest of us. 
So I'm not liking the looks of that. So I dropped it into half porch mode for now. And it took some time, but we got our first significant little, a little bit of what, 15 seconds of the downpour and stopped again. <laughs> I did put my uh, my tarp completely down. I don't think that's the last of it. All right, a, a little bit after six o'clock. Uh, it seems to be clearing a bit. Rain is, uh, for the most part, at this at this point done. But hopefully it stays like this, and I can get back uh, back into porch mode over here. All right, my idea or the thing that I followed that I thought was going to work was these uh, the silicone tubing with you know, and then I wrapped the silicone tape around it. It's not working. The actually the um, it's all it's been catching on fire so hopefully i can get that uh, that off of there i might have to burn burn that stuff off of there to get it off my handles i don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen we'll see all right it's uh, 7 37 and uh we kind of abandoned this shelter over here because it's uh i don't know it might rain it might not but it's kind of slowed down from what it was doing a little bit earlier it wasn't terrible but uh, we're gonna try the fire over here. Just finished uh, dinner. And uh, what did I say it was, Doug? 63 degrees? Yeah. 63 degrees. Get the uh, adult beverage going. I'm about to start it anyway. So hopefully the rain holds off. At 924, that last uh, bit of wood that we just put on there went up pretty good. We've been taking wood from the, uh, from the, under the, um, the hobo shelter that we built. <laughs> you know, we were keeping wood dry over there. Because the rain has been kind of hit and miss. It'll, it'll, every once in a while, it'll start raining for 30 seconds and stop. So... Fortunately, it hasn't been too bad, and I hope it stays that way. I got my, uh, I put my tarp back into porch mode, and I, I hope uh, that'll be cool for the rest of the night like that. And we'll see what happens. Uh, I think it's in the upper 50s right now. I can't even remember where I just looked at it, and I can't remember what, it's just, what I just said it was. So, um, yeah, that's uh, probably going to be a wrap for tonight anyways. We'll see what, unless anything exciting happens. Unless we get a bear coming through camp or something. All right, it is uh, morning, day three. And uh, we turned in around 10.30 last night when the, the rain started picking up pretty good. Uh, it's, I think, I, I got up about 7.30. So. Uh, rain has stopped for now, so I just wanted to pack up real quick. Um, getting pretty close. I'm not gonna cook a, um, I'm just gonna have a chocolate milk for breakfast so i'm not cooking anything so we can get on the trail for a short walk out uh, i meant to check the temperature let's see what we got here all right it is 58 degrees not sure what it did to get down to last night because i forgot to reset the uh, thermo drop it's still saying 47 that was the low on the first night so i don't think it got down below 47 no, i definitely did not get below 47 last night all right unfortunately i had to sleep completely hunkered down with the tarp but uh, oh well all right doug's got his breakfast going over here in the uh the shelter if you want to call it that <laughs> and uh this is what i'm trying i'm gonna try this one for the first time at least this recipe this is a uh, carnation breakfast essentials adding seven eighths of a cup of water to the powdered milk see what happens it's not too bad but uh, that's all I'm having for breakfast. The water level did not come up last night. Um, and we got quite a bit of rain. But uh, I was getting my water out of that little waterfall right there yesterday. And uh, I'm expecting the trails to be nice and muddy today. We got some fog coming up our way. Working its way up the, the ravine. We're gonna head up there. After we get back to the car, we're gonna drive up. That's uh, Rim Rock up there. Um, hopefully we'll have hopefully this fog will be out of here by then we'll have some kind of view all right we might be just getting packed up finished packed up just in time the rain's starting and uh i don't know how much filming i'll be doing in the rain yeah. 
we just had a pretty decent uh, hike up the hill out of camp to get up to the top here and it's finally leveling off a uh, nice section of uh, lower ulster here and uh we got song of the day day three already is uh do a leap uh, don't start i think that's what it's called don't start uh, which i think it was nominated for a bunch of stuff this year's grammys I'm not sure if it won or not Yeah, this is nice. You know, these little pines and laurels. All right, here is the trail that we skipped yesterday that way. We just came from over here uh, to, the, to the right. So we were going clockwise yesterday. We came to one of these signs that told us to go right, but we stayed to the left. And that's what we did the outside of the loop, I guess. The old way of doing it, I guess. I don't know, maybe there's a black bear down that way. <laughs> We're on the rim rock loop, headed this way. This section of trail that we're on now is super easy. This is a shared use uh, cross country trail. It's uh, no rocks, completely flat. This is easy hiking here. 59 degrees too. So, uh, so I'm not sweating too bad, even with your train coat on. Uh, to the right would be the rim rock loop if you just wanted to do that side in the campground is down at the bottom. There's also some sites. Uh, huh. A little waterfall there, but uh, see if we can keep our feet dry here. You can see that from the other side. That's pretty cool how the waterfall is going underneath that uh, palm tree. All right, we did another short day today. It was only three and a half miles to get uh, from camp back to the parking lot. And uh, we just drove about three minutes from the parking lot over here to uh, the Rimrock hiking trail just to uh, check out a possible overlook where you can see the reservoir and everything. It looks like, I don't know where the overlook is, but it's probably going to be too fogged in down in the valley to see anything. Uh, but yeah, we'll look around here for a minute and see if there is an overlook. I do want to show, so we're right here at this overlook. We were parked down in, or parked, we were camped down in this valley last night looking up at the overlook. So that's in relation to where we're at. All right, there's these uh, wooden steps to come down here to the overlook. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be very happening today, but th this is probably a beautiful view. It's not like this. And there's this, uh, the really cool part we're going to check out in a second back there. But yeah, this would be awesome. There's some nice cliffs over here. Where we were camped yesterday, last night, was just around, except for this little overlook here, and we were down in the valley below. We were looking up at this yesterday. But yeah, pretty legitimate. A lot of fun. There's some rock climbing there, right? Yeah, well, that's what, we'll, we'll go down there real quick. All right, check this out. I think this is good. I think this goes down to the bottom of this cliff. Stay on there. Take you all the way down. This is crazy. There's a beach across the river. This would be a lot of fun with this crowd. Yeah, if I was any larger, I don't know that I'd fit down these steps. This must not have been too much fun to build this. I realized I had my finger in the shot.
All right, here's the bottom of the cliff looking up over here. Oh, this is beautiful. I said there's more over here. Oh, wow. Supposedly you could go through here. But there's a crag you can get up through to get up top there. Wow. I've not done it. <laughs> This is beautiful. These are some of the best cliffs I've ever seen. Yeah. said we can loop back around to get back up to the parking lot. Awesome. Yeah, we won't be doing it today. <laughs> okay. I guess we're not going up that way. It actually looks like they've locked it up a bit. But I think, yeah, you go in there and get on the ledge, go up and through. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't see us. I, I, I wouldn't fit through there. Yeah, I don't want to kill myself on these wet rocks. No, I think you'll be fine right here. Though. I didn't see where Doug went. I think he went over this way. Oh, you could probably fit up through there if you really had to. You want to go up through there? I'm going for it, yeah. All right. So I guess we're going to try to go up through here. Yeah, pretty much got to go sideways through here. I'm going to hit my head here. I did hit my head. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't change out of my rain clothes yet. Back on top. Overlooking up here. Of course, no view today. This section kind of reminds me of Wolf Rocks and in Port State Forest. Uh, just a whole lot more rocks out this way. Or through this section. Cool. Good thing for this bridge. That is a ways down there. That's got to be 60 foot drop. I would definitely recommend coming out here and uh, checking out this rim rock overlook, all the cliffs, some really cool rock stuff. Uh, Morrison, uh, the Morrison Loop Trail, that was enjoyable too. We had that one big climb out of uh, camp this morning. And uh, Morrison Run, great campsites. I'm almost back up to the car right now, so with that we'll call this, uh, this one a wrap. Uh, I've got about our usual 100 miles to the nearest McDonald's, so getting really hungry now thinking about it. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>